Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I'm Stephen Skinner with uh, Visualization for Social Good, and I wanted to welcome you to my portion of, uh, of our conference, I Am Data. Um, I'm going to be talking today about a, a slightly different topic, um, hopefully a, a little bit more um, public interest and less technical. Uh, and my talk today is on data analytics for social impact. And I will be focusing on the work of the organization called Visualization for Social Good. The mission of Viz for Social Good, and Viz stands for visualization, is to empower nonprofits through data story. And what that means, obviously you can read here, but what that means is that we help mission-driven organizations promote social good and understand their own data through data visualization. Um, the big picture on this is that uh, Viz for Social Good is really a global uh, collective uh, run uh, uh, by a committed uh, core team and uh, made up of volunteers in data science and data analytics from around the world. These are examples of some of the uh, recent projects done uh, by Viz for Social Good, actually some of the more historical projects. Um, we have done work uh, and been invited to speak at the United Nations, um, done work for some incredible organizations. And typically, you're probably wondering, like, well, where does data analytics, data science, you know, fit in? These, these look like posters. And they are, in fact. Um, but uh, the work product that we create for our NGO clients ends up being used to help them communicate their mission uh, to outside organizations. Uh, it's used to help them uh, do development, meaning fundraising. And in many cases, it's used to help them do analysis. Um, underneath uh, any of the work that I will show you here today is a core uh, of, of data analytics and data science. Uh, the solutions that I'll show you in some of our projects depend on the approach that different people may have taken to them. But uh, this is much more than an effort to make pretty pictures. It's really about creating a culture for data literacy and data analytics among the uh, NGO and uh, uh, social impact data community. And in fact, uh, it, that is quite a large community. Um, in the Twitter world, I'm sorry, in the Tableau world, that's called uh, the data fam or hashtag data fam, which is you know, 20,000 plus people around the world who are um, collaborating uh, around Tableau and often using Twitter as their means of communication. So first of all, how, how does it work? What, you know, what does a Viz for Social Good project look like? Projects. We tend to produce these projects at the rate of at least once a quarter, if not more frequency. Uh, we will identify a nonprofit to work with and uh, a problem that, or a quest, problem we want to solve or a question that we want to answer. That all becomes part of the project brief uh, that we develop in collaboration with the nonprofit client. I say client because they're the customer, but in fact, uh, there is no um, uh, visualization for social good does not charge for these services uh, and work product that we create. It's, it's our way of giving back to the uh, data for good community, in fact. So we will identify a partner, a, a nonprofit partner, uh, create a project brief based on some challenge that they have or some problem that they wanna solve or some understanding that they are seeking about their own work and the opportunity. Uh, we announce that project uh, to our community. We have a thousand plus followers on Twitter uh, the project is announced as a hackathon, uh, either a, uh, you know, a remote hackathon today that you would do on your own or in a team. Uh, a time frame is established and the project brief is published along with any associated data sets. Um, all of this is done 
through Twitter. And although uh, I don't think of Twitter as a collaboration platform, in fact, that's how we use it. Uh, and then during the uh, course of the project, uh, volunteers around the world develop their solutions, uh, sometimes on their own, sometimes in groups, sometimes in collaboration with some of the people from our organization to provide uh, review and feedback. And then submissions are presented uh, via Twitter once again. And in some cases, we will also do a formal presentation to our client. Um, that's become a format that we've been doing more of this year in particular, where Viz for Social Good will host um, a design review and presentation of a select group of uh, visualizations that our volunteers created um, and for the project. And ultimately, they become the property, if you will, um, of the client themselves. And the visualization product is delivered to the client um, for use uh, internally, for use in presentations, for use in fundraising, development, etc. And of course, these projects can be delivered in different media as well. Um, it's a great opportunity to take our our technical skills, uh, which are you know quite significant among this group, and uh, uh, offer them up and make them available to organizations that might not otherwise have access to this kind of talent. So I'm gonna focus a little bit on one particular project, show you a couple examples, and then um, hopefully we'll have time for questions as well. Um, earlier this year, we completed a project for an organization called Bridges to Prosperity. Uh, Bridges to Prosperity is based in Rwanda and they build footbridges to connect communities in the developing countries. The call to action was to help solve the problem of rural isolation by sharing the findings of our work with the net, your network, with the people you know, who are consuming it. The audience, as I mentioned, was government partners, funding organizations, the general public, and community feedback uh, sessions. And the data was uh, the data that was available given this location around um, uh, survey data uh, related to catchments, bridge locations, uh, village shape files. Uh, it's not uncommon for us to combine geospatial data and some level of geospatial analysis with what we're doing as well, depending on the availability of the data sets. Um, so I'm going to just go through a couple of examples of the work that was submitted. And hopefully this will give you an idea of the, of the caliber uh, of the contribution, the submissions that we receive from our, our members around the world. Um, it's really um, quite exceptional, the amount of um, insight and time and creativity and technical uh, expertise uh, that our community puts into creating these projects. Uh, and again, you know, and it's all for the for the greater good. Which this is a single submission. Um, uh, we have a, a map showing the uh, the bridge locations and the communities, uh, referencing it back to its location, you know, in the continent of Africa. And we have a breakdown uh, of the well. We have a summary of the general statistics of use of these bridges. We have a breakdown of each one, and then some fairly sophisticated uh, analytics presentations, in this case using Sankey diagrams, which you know, use or type of a flow diagram where the size of the uh, uh, flow is indicative of, of a, uh, a measure uh, of the data itself. And keep in mind that while we're looking at a static image, these are uh, all derived from a uh, an interactive uh, visualization. Uh, Here's how you can get involved with Viz for Social Good and other similar types of projects. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to join drmds.org where you can not only hear Stephen's full 30-minute talk, but all others from RMDS Labs' I'm Data 2020 conference.
Use the link in the description to take advantage of a complimentary one-month premium membership to grmds.org to access online courses, webinars, datasets, workflow collections, and much more.